another uh, method in coding theory which is Hamming distance in a previous video we discussed parity check so this time let's have Hamming distance um, we have here the definition of Hamming distance it says that to know the Hamming distance of two bit strings we just have to count the number of differences between corresponding bits so how to do that um, let's have first um, a copy of ASC double I code we have here the link even in case you want to access this as well so for an example of Hamming distance say we have um, or we want to check the difference or the Hamming distance of say letter B versus C that's B versus C so let's have first um, letter B B has the code there I'm sorry let's have that bigger instead okay so let's have letter B which has the code um, zero one that's zero one two four four zeros one two three four and um, another one zero and letter C has the code let's change the color to that okay there is he has the code still zero one at the start and um we only oh we also have four zeros after this and lastly we have one one there so to know the Hamming distance between the letters B and C, we just have to count the number of differences, but with respect to corresponding bits. So meaning, we are to um, compare first versus first, second versus second, third versus third, and so on. Corresponding bits. Okay, so let's have that one here. Corresponding bits then. So say we check first versus first zero zero no difference second one one no difference no difference no difference no difference no difference and clearly there are differences on the second to the last and last bits oh i'm sorry only last bit so we have here zero and one so there's only one difference so the difference between let's have the conclusion here the humming distance between the letters b and c is only one because we only have one difference um what if this time we'll have to check the humming distance between c and e Let's have C and D. So C here has the code zero one four zeros and one one and E has I prefer that to be column there he has still zero one but the next would be only three zeros one two three and we have one zero one okay so let's check the humming distance between these two no, two letters um we have first versus first same 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 we have different here we have another different 
um, bits here. So we have two as the Hamming distance. So the Hamming distance between the letters C and E would be two. Easy, right? So you just have to count the number of differences um, with the corresponding bits. Easy peasy. So let's apply that um, concept of Hamming distance. Oh yeah, we have here another example. Checking the Hamming distance between A and B. Um, note that the first, four, fifth, and seventh bits differ. That's why we have four as the Hamming distance of letters A and B. So yeah. Um, let's apply the concept of Hamming distance to this example. For example, um, the sender actually re actually sent the message I love you, but then you received I love you. I love you or I love you. So as mentioned, Hamming distance is one of the methods in coding theory that can detect and correct errors in the message. So um, in the in the message that you received, I love or I love you, you suspect that letter D here is an error because the sentence is awkward, clearly. So um, you try to retrieve the correct message. So how to apply arming distance in this example? Simply, you just have to list the possible... Um, possible correct letters so we have here c to be the set of choices that instead of letter d there what if d there could be c um i cove you i love you l there or i move you or r i rove you so we have here possible um letters to replace letter d and basing on our ASC double I codes, we have here as well their corresponding codes. So we have to check the Hamming distance. So we have here the first um, code, the left side, which was the letter D. Uh, I'm sorry, the right side, the red, the red codes here is the letter D would correspond to letter D and the right side here would be the letter C L M R. So note that the first pair here of letter C and letter D has the difference or has the Hamming distance of three because we have mm, the last three, the last three bits which are different. So for visual learners, let's have that one here again here okay so first um first pair we have c versus d letter c there is or has to code zero one four zeros and one one letter d happens to have the code Zero one um three zeros yeah three zeros one two three and um okay where am I <laughs> oh yeah I'm still here one zero zero okay so Checking the, this, the, the differences, as mentioned, we have the last three bits here, which differ, right? So that's the reason why we have there written that the Hamming distance between C and D or the codes that were listed there or, with, or were written there would be three. There. So, going back to the slide, th this time we have D versus, I mean, L, the green one, versus D. We only have one difference, and that happens to be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the fifth place. And moving on, we have 
m versus d hamming distance is 2 and r versus d the hamming distance is 3. so it was an exercise let me check it there with you get a pen and paper and double check if my answers here are correct so yeah how to apply hamming distance since we apply the, the the concept but um as for the conclusion since we have the hamming distances here three one two three with respect to the letter c l m r versus our letter d we will get the least hamming distance which happens to be the second row here or the distance between um l and d and their hamming distance is one why do we have to get the least hamming distance because we know that when there's an error in the code it could it would be um per bit or uh, yeah per bit error so in this case a, um, a noise source disturbed the um disturbed the signal once and that's only for one two three four the fifth the fifth place um in the bit string that instead of zero it happens to be really one the fifth um the fifth bit in letter d is zero and the original letter um has the fifth bit one and that is l so retrieving your message instead of i love or i love you that's actually i love you okay so yeah as a recap when you do hamming distance um you just have to count the number of differences and when you are to to list all the possible letters in there that could replace the error in the message always get the list hamming distance okay so um again i'll be having more videos and um with respect to coding theory i'll be having as aside from aside from parity check i'll be having as well check digit next time so see you then guys thank you for watching